Sometimes it is hard to do everything at once. The Flight Management Computer, or FMC, is a tool you can use. It does many routine tasks and computations for you. The FMC reduces the work you need to do. The FMC stores information in internal files or databases. It has a navigation database and a performance database. The navigation database contains data from sources such as standard instrument arrivals or STARS, standard instrument departures or SIDS, and en route and approach charts. This data is kept current with frequent updates. All necessary airplane performance data is also stored in the FMC. The FMC receives data from airplane systems. It also receives data from the flight crew. The FMC uses information from the flight crew, airplane systems, and its own databases to calculate the optimum flight profile. It then sends commands to the auto flight systems. The FMC also sends data to the displays and the control display units or CDUs. There are two CDUs, one for each pilot. The CDUs let you communicate with the FMC. You may put in and show FMC data with either CDU. The CDU has a display screen, alpha and numeric keys to put in data, function keys to show pages of data, and line select keys to select, put in, or remove data. Now let's look at the CDU display more closely. We'll start with the performance initialization page. Data lines are on the left and right side of the display. Data lines contain data that is put in automatically by the FMC or manually by the flight crew. Here are three examples of data lines. Line titles identify the type of data on the data line below. Some data lines contain boxes. You must put data in the boxes for the FMC to operate correctly. Some data lines contain dashes. It is optional to put data in a data line with dashes. You should put in the data if it is available to improve FMC operation. Some data lines already have data put in. The data has been put in by the FMC or by the pilot. Now let's look at how to use the CDU to put in data. Let's put in the cost index. You must put in the number 30 First, push the number 3 key. Notice that 3 shows at the bottom of the display. This area of the screen is the scratch pad. 
Your entry shows here first. Complete the entry. Push the zero key. Make sure your scratchpad entry is correct. To move scratchpad data, you push the line select key adjacent to the applicable data line. To move 30, push the line. That completes the cost index entry. If your scratchpad entry is not correct, you can use the clear key to clear the scratchpad. You push the clear key to remove the last character from the scratch pad. Push the clear key one time. If you The FMC shows messages in the scratch pad. There are many scratch pad messages. In this example, the entry is invalid. When a scratch pad message shows, the message light illuminates. To remove a scratch pad message, push the clear key. You Your entry stays in the scratch pad after the message clears. Push and hold the clear key to clear the scratch pad. The FMC will show a message in the scratch pad if there is an entry error or to tell you about system status. If a condition must be corrected before you continue FMC guided flight, the FMC shows a CDU scratch pad message and the FMC alert light on each pilot's panel illuminates. Clear the scratch pad message. Now let's continue to put in data. Let's put in the cruise altitude. You must use the correct format. Altitudes can be put in with these formats. To put in the cruise altitude, use one of these formats. You will learn more about data entry formats in other FMC lessons. The execute light is illuminated. Some data is not active or is not accepted by the FMC until you execute your entries. We'll discuss the execute key after you complete all performance initialization page data. Notice that the cruise wind line has a slash in the data line. The slash divides data on the data line. To put in cruise wind, you must use the slash key. Put 270 slash 50 in the cruise wind line. You can also put in a piece of data in one side of the slash. The cruise wind direction has changed to 300. To change the wind direction entry, put in 300 slash. Now let's see how to put in negative values. Number entries are assumed to be positive unless a minus sign is used. Use the plus minus key to put in negative values. You push the plus minus key one time to show a minus. Put minus 47C in the top of climb OAT line. You can put in temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius. Your entry is in Celsius. The FMC calculates the equivalent Fahrenheit temperature. 
It also calculates the ISA deviation. Now that the page is complete, you must execute the entries to make them active. To execute your entries, push the Execute key. The word Active is now in the title to show that the FMC uses the Performance Initialization page data. Modifications and the Next, we'll look at more CDU functions. Some lines have a caret symbol. When you push a line select key adjacent to a caret, the FMC will show a page or do a function. In this example, you can show the init ref index page. Push the line select key adjacent to index. From the init ref index page, you can show preflight and reference data pages. Select the position page. You put present position in this page for IRS alignment. You saw how to use the alpha and numeric keys to put data in the scratch pad. You can also make a copy of data on a data line. First, check to see that the scratch pad is empty. Next, push the line select key by the gate latitude and longitude coordinates. The coordinates show in the scratch pad. Next, move the data from the scratch pad to the set IRS position line. Many times, it is easier to make a copy of data than to put it in with the alphanumeric keys. You use the function keys to show pages. Push the legs key. The legs page shows the waypoints in the route of flight. Because one page cannot show all waypoints in this route, the FMC creates additional pages. This shows there are three pages of waypoints for this flight plan. This shows that you now see page one. You use the next page key to move forward through the other pages. Push the next page key. The page number changed to show that this is page 2. To return to page 1, push the previous page key. Push the previous page key again. The last legs page shows. When there is more than one page, you can push the next page or previous page key to show any page. Next, let's look at data lines again. Small characters on a data line, like these, show values calculated by the FMC. Large characters show the data you have put in, or data that is part of a departure or arrival procedure you selected. Data can be deleted with the delete key. Tower tells you to remove this altitude constraint. First, check to see that the scratch pad is empty. Push the delete key. Notice that delete shows in the scratch pad. Push the line select key by the data that you want to remove. The large character constraint is removed. 
The FMC calculates a predicted value and shows it in small characters. The display shows that you have modified the route. Remember that some data is not active or accepted by the FMC until you execute your entries. Push the Not all data can be deleted. For example, the first waypoint on legs page 1 is called the active waypoint. If you try to delete the active waypoint, the FMC shows the invalid delete scratchpad message.